and welcome. I'm Dwayne Lesner, and I get to show to you Acropolis Container Services new in 5.1. We've always had Docker support via our volume plugin, but what we're introducing today is a new managed turnkey solution. So here on the Upgrade Software section tab, we have a new placement for containers. Um, you can download the needed bits from portal.nutanix.com. Um, once this is uploaded, uh, enable the container and it will just start a deployment process. Part of the deployment process is uh, creating a new container for your container hosts. Um, if we look at what we have today, it's already deployed the three VMs. So these are all be deployed automatically for you. You can crank up the amount of vCPUs and memory if you want to, uh, but essentially you really don't have to worry about maintaining these VMs. They get deployed part of uh, the self-service portal. So if we go and look at the self-service portal and uh, log in, you will see that we have the ability a new containers tab, but also in the role section, what you if you already have an existing uh, self-service portal deployment, you want to make sure that you go in and assign the necessary resources. So here we'll go uh, update the role and there'll be some new container permissions at the bottom. Scroll down. So here you can assign what permissions you want for your users in your projects. So we'll cancel. It's already been updated. And as far as the deployment goes, if you want to deploy a new virtual machine, we will log out and go in with our regular users. So we'll sign out. <clears throat> and you can, you can use the Docker registry or you can use a, a, one of your own choosing as well. So we'll use our user Bob at rf9.local. So here's our projects that we have access to with this user. Um, there's some containers running. We'll go off and add another container. So the UI presents itself. See, we only have uh, the Docker Hub listed. So we'll go grab an image from that. Pretty famous one. Uh, we will do a search on it. This will load up all of the images. It should load the official ones near the top. So we'll select the official image, hit next. Uh, we can give it a name. ACS51. Choose our networking. These are managed networks in, in AHV. Make this the default. And here you can add in uh, CPU shares, memory. If you want to create a new persistent storage volume for it, you can go off and do that as well. It'll automatically attach it to the container itself. So here we have a lot of different volume groups. We can add the mount point. Create a port mapping. So this container will run on port 80 and we'll mount that to a port on the host. Hit save. And if you want, you can run more advanced uh, Docker run commands at the bottom here. We'll hit save and this will deploy out our container and also create the volume group uh, for us as well. So if we go take a look, it's um, starting to spin that up. So the container is up and running. We can go click on the container itself, see that it started, the, the host IP that it's running on, the port mapping. Um, if we go and copy and paste this into a web browser. It will take us to the web page. Um, here we go. And if we go back into the self-service portal and look at the logs, we can see that we've uh, hit that web server and it's showing up in the logs as well. So pretty easy deployment for getting started with containers. Uh, please check out portal.nutanix.com for more resources and also some new reference architectures and white papers. And all of the 5.1 updates, thanks for watching.